Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I will be showing you a realistic work week as a registered nurse in New York City. This is my daily morning routine to get ready for work. My routine is very simple because I am that person that calculates when the latest I can wake up to catch the train. I always pack my lunchbox ready the night before so it's easy to grab and go. The weather is starting to get chilly in the morning so I wore a sweater and headed out to catch the train. I forgot to put banana in my oatmeal, so it's just peaches, and they're not even ripened, so it's like super hard. This is usually the start of my day. I would get to work 10 minutes earlier before my shift, and then I would just have my breakfast. So usually for the first part of my mornings, I would check my emails to see if I have to reply to anything, and then I would go to my tasks that's coming from patients and doctors and I will just knock them out. So currently I have 11 tasks that I need to tend to. So I'm gonna get started on this. For those of you who don't know, I work as an outpatient GI nurse in New York City for about one and a half years so far. My schedule is Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5 with no weekend requirements, which is great. As someone who worked in bedside prior to this job, this is the quote unquote grass is greener on the other side aka soft nursing. Obviously, there are pros and cons to any job, but I definitely feel less stress and happier working outpatient than inpatient. Going back to what I do as outpatient nurse on a daily basis, I am more 90% triage based and 10% hands-on based, meaning vaccination slash shots. Triage based work means answering patients' calls, doing med authorizations, and any procedural scheduling and instruction giving to the patients. For lunch, I am having some of my leftover galbean ching that doesn't really have any galbean in there because I ate it all last night. So it's just radish and carrots and some of the juice that's really delicious. And right here, I also have sides that is used for bibimbap, but I'm just gonna eat it together with my lunch. It was really busy today in the morning. I had so much tasks coming in and I finally just got a breather. I usually eat lunch for an hour. I'm a lot of one hour lunch break. And usually I just watch some Netflix and just unwind from everything. I use this gabagin recipe from Manchi and it's so good. I'm going to do a quick workout thinking about doing some Pilates strength training exercise. So currently I am training for my 10k race. So I've been running consistently 3 to 4 miles a week to start off for my 6 mile run in November. And I've been having some knee pain so I've been trying to get back into strength training, weight training to strengthen my legs and also just work out my upper body as well. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Welcome to your strength workout of the day. Squat to press. You ready? If you want to modify, back leg stays down. In three, we have those rows. Some of you might be curious about the pay between outpatient and inpatient. The answer is outpatient is typically less hourly pay than inpatient, but that doesn't mean you can't negotiate to get a better rate. Usually negotiating outpatient is a little bit more flexible than inpatient from my experience. I work night shift during bedside, so with a night differential, I do earn more than now, but I don't think it was a significant difference. Especially with the amount of work and stress that I had working inpatient, that I think earning a little less, but less stress is worth it. A little background of how I got into nursing 
nursing school. I went to Hunter College in New York City and I got a bachelor's of nursing which is a four-year program. The first year focuses on prereqs that you need to qualify for the nursing program which usually include science, math, English, and a psychology course. After that, I needed to take a nursing entrance exam. The nursing admissions would then take account of 50% of your GPA and 50% of entrance exam score and rank you. Usually it is a top 100 to 150 people that get into the program so it is a quite competitive program to get into. Overall, nursing school is very hard and you gotta put in the work to pass. Oh, that smells really good. This, yeah. Is it blended chicken? Is that why? It's a marinated chicken. I currently just got off work, I'm in Central Park, taking a walk downtown to get some tacos. I feel always relaxed coming here. I really enjoy fall because it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just perfect. And everyone is just running outside, taking walks, having picnics, going about their lives. Hi, can I get two steak, tacos, and four pork? I got the pork taco. It's a little salty, but the flavor is there is more crispy than the tacos I used to have. This is the beef. The beef is a little tough. I wish it was a little more juicier. I give this a 7 out of 10. A 7? Uh -huh. Thursday and it's my work from home day so I'm just gonna get ready to eat some breakfast thinking about eating some yogurt and some peaches and bananas I have left Thursdays are my work from home days and I am super grateful to have the privilege to do so. This was originally not in my contract but I requested and got approved by management. Honestly, I didn't think I would get approved but that just shows that you only need to ask because the worst thing that can happen is them saying no. Nothing really changes in my workflow though except I only use my phone to dial out because I don't have a landline and I have access to the remote charting system and emails which is great. Work from home days make me realize how much time we spend on commuting to work which usually is a two hour round trip every day so it really just gives me a break. I also get to sleep in a little bit later which is nice too. This is a quick interception, so I completed all my tasks for the morning. There was a lot that came in. We had a lot of people scheduling hospital follow-ups, procedures, and just some miscellaneous medical records. So, very productive. It's almost ready for lunch, so I'm gonna make some food. For lunch, I'm going to make marinated chicken thighs that I got from H Mart. got a hydroponic garden system. This is from the brand A Hope Garden and it looks like this. So this is a indoor or all year round water based system so you don't have to use soil to grow your plants, herbs, and vegetables. This is going to be so fun. I saw this TikTok of this girl in New York City and she has a bunch of these hydroponic systems and it seems like her plants are doing really well so I decided to purchase one and see how it goes. My seeds also arrived. I bought mine from Renee Garden and I bought like at least 10 types of vegetables. 
So let me just show you because these are so cute. These are so cool in design. I got some cucumbers, I got herbs, cilantro, chai chili, bok choy, tomatoes, of course, spinach. And this is really interesting. I got this scallion head that the bowl is actually purple. And the chives, eggplants, and basil, lettuce. I also got a bush bean packet. These are the three different types of colors that we got. So I'm just going to germinate them outside of the pod and wait for it to grow. And then I'll transfer it back into the hydroponic system. And that's it, we just put on our windows though, right? My system comes in 12 pods, so I'm going to start building it right now. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Oh, okay. This is actually made of coconut fiber, so it's not soil. The seed will go into the hole here, and then you put it into this encasing, which goes into these pods before I put the seeds in to soften it. This is all the seeds laid out. They're really tiny, you probably don't see it. It's there. Ta -da! That's a lot of water. Perfect. It's done. Keep you guys posted to see if anything grows. For dinner, I'm having some peanut butter noodles and I also made topoki. Topoki with fish cake and ramen, and this is eggs and chives. Egg delicious. Peanut butter noodles are really easy to make, and if you don't have much time, you can literally make this in 10 minutes. It's just boiling your noodles and adding peanut butter and soy sauce. These rice cakes from H Mart are really good. Mm.